So I recently bought a pair of these $18 Air Jordan 11 knockoffs. I have no idea what that says. Somebody read that to me. But I wanted to show you guys what we got in this weird bubble wrapped shoe package here. Let's go ahead and get in the video. So I wanted to let you guys know that this video is gonna be sponsored by Skillshare. Now this company is actually really relevant to me as well, again, because I finally made the jump from iMovie to Final Cut Pro, and Skillshare is basically an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Final Cut and video editing is one of those things that they cover, so they have tons of tutorials and informational videos on how to use it, and, and much more elaborate than things that you can find on YouTube. The premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. An example of a video that I liked was a DIY filming series, creating pro videos with tools you already own. But they also do have other ones that I'm really interested in, such as entrepreneurship. Skillshare is also really affordable with under $10 a month for an annual subscription. And because you guys are watching this sponsored video, you can sign up actually with the link in the description and get a two month free trial. I'm excited to learn some new film techniques as well as editing skills from using Skillshare itself. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I'm gonna go ahead and use my own link in the description so I can get those two months free. Can you smell this? What does this say? Sports. <laughs> what is that letter? Sports. Kicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. I'm not going to link where to buy these. I don't really link where to buy the fakes. It's just more or less something to do for fun, entertainment, and just to really see what you get so you guys aren't wasting your money. As you can see, this is what I bought right here. I got the white and black pair though, not the white and blue. $18. But anyway, this is what we got in the mail. No tracking, just showed up as per usual. Oddly enough, this is a different type of garbage bag than the last one that I did with the fake Yeezys, but uh, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and open up and see what we got. Oh, that really cut easily as we would expect from this high quality plastic. Oh man, I mean, it's like disintegrating plastic. It's like landfill plastic. That's what it feels like. Yikes. And, oh yeah, look at this. I've never seen a pair of Air Jordans bubble wrapped in Nike Air like this before. This is awesome. I'm so happy that Nike Air is <laughs> wrapping my Jordans. Let's take a look here. Oh man. Look at this wrap. I don't know how to get this out, but I'm just gonna reach in here and pull them out. <laughs> look at this wrap job. Okay. Well, so this isn't the ones that I thought I was gonna get. I thought these were white and black, not black and white. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Wow. Huh. It's actually, uh, I mean, obviously cheap and obviously fake. Feels super, super lightweight, but Wow. Not gonna lie, kind of impressed. Even has a 45 in the back uh, right there. It has the traction actually is super good too because normally the traction is El Terrible like on these things, but this is like real traction. It looks a little off centered and this isn't real carbon fiber. Obviously it's just a plastic shank plate, actually a really cheap one because you can see it's like malleable. You shouldn't be able to bend that. Uh, even the patent leather has like the high cut on it like the uh, the last round of retros. This is a little bit flimsy as we expect. As, as per usual, the inside of the shoe feels like a teddy bear from the fair, basically. Just super cheap quality stuff. It actually says Nike Air on the inside. So this is more like a replica, not a knockoff. Like some of the replicas, some of the knockoffs are branded so they don't say the actual Yeezy brand or Nike brand. These actually say Nike Air on them though. So interesting move there. This feels like a cheaper version of like the, the ballistic nylon on the upper, but honestly it doesn't look and feel too bad. It just, again, a small downgrade. This is like a downgrade to the official pair. It feels really cheap. It, feels super flimsy. It feels lightweight because it's just lighter. I mean, you can see on the inside, there's obviously no air or anything like that. The midsole is super thin comparatively. 
Oh, there's the insole right there. Just cheaper, you know? But also the real pairs are like $200 or something like that or close to that nowadays. 225, I can't remember what the retail is. Overall quality is actually not too terrible for like $18. I mean, honestly, it's $18. Uh, this is way better than some of the other ones that I've seen. Like the 13s are absolutely terrible. These have real soles, like I said. So it's really funny buying from some of these sites. And this is a testament to how you can really, you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you could be buying some of these things for, and for those people out there that are actually buying these to consume and actually wear, um, you might be buying these and are super pleasantly surprised by something like this because it's decent quality. It's not as terrible as some of the other ones that you may uh, end up with bad luck and get one of the pairs that just literally fall apart when you get them because they're made of like, toilet paper or something like they're just super super cheaply made these are a little bit better build than some of the other ones now i'm not going to say these aren't going to fall apart they do feel pretty cheap as you can see the crease right there i mean these are super super lightweight this can't be real patent leather um this is not real leather back here there's no real parts to the shoe but it does have rubber sole which is again more than what we've seen on some of them so all in all like crazy i mean not the color way i wanted i actually ordered the white and black pair not the black and white one but it is what it is, so that's one downside. They sent me the wrong one. But I gotta say I'm kind of impressed with uh, the overall look of the, the fake that they have. And just for comparison, this is actually the one I meant to get because this is the one that I have from the last retro, not the most recent one. You can see the color changes in the pods because it's just the way it goes. I mean, this one looks pretty close. Like, the overall shape is actually really, really close, but it's obviously fake, and again, the carbon fiber it's fake. Even the midsole material has the same sort of uh, shape, but this is obviously fake. It's super, super cheap. And the 4.5 on the back of here is actually stitched on like the other pairs, but uh, Jumpman, ballistic nylon here looks pretty good too. Rope lace is a little bit thin, but not bad. Just be careful out there, man. I This is one of those things where it's like, it makes me feel bad because somebody's gonna get okie doked like into buying a pair of, uh, of Space Jams online and then getting shipped these and Hopefully they're smart enough to know the difference because that person's making a crazy markup, like five, six, ten times uh, markup on buying these cheap shoes. Anyway, this video is really just for educational purposes. I mean, this is what you'd get. This is what I got from these. Obviously, uh, it's kind of a hassle to be able to buy from these fake sites. Uh, you never know what you're actually going to get in hand and if it's actually going to be decent or not. Personally, I would not buy them for your guys' sake. I'm buying them so you guys can see what they look like. And then... Um, that's kind of it. So hopefully it's worth you checking out this video and seeing what you get out of the box for that $18, $19 price point or whatever. I mean, crazy. Anyways, that is the video. Pretty uh, insane to see something like this come out of the package. I honestly thought it was gonna be way, way worse, but they're getting so close to making the knockoffs look like replicas and, and closer to the real sort of thing, even though obviously it's a super mega downgrade. From the real thing but that is the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys have other shoes that you guys would like to see some knockoffs and stuff like that uh leave a comment and let me know what you guys would like to see me buy otherwise if you guys like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel have a good rest of the day and more sneaker videos very soon peace guys